Hello guys and welcome back to GT Retro World. Well, following on from my little trip up Highcliffe a few days ago, I was just curious about the output power um, of this little Thunderbolt TX. So, what I've done, I've brought the little Albrecht E611 in. I've tried a couple of my new old stock multiple boxes from 80s and they're all around about just under 4 watts, which was probably the, the run of the mill thing back then because of customs etc and whatever you know they always just they were always just a bit underway and they're three and a half just under four watts type of thing but this albrecht is just doing slightly over four watts as you see just a touch as you can see just a frame 4.1 4.2 if that so it's healthy um like i say i've checked it again so the up boxes which were new all stock uh, one of them was even literally brand new I should have brought it in really but I wanted to get it back in its box to be honest because it's it's going to a new home um, anyway right you've seen that there little Albrecht A6110 which is box fresh I've got three of these I've tried them all they're all doing up the same power this meter I know somewhere near you it might be out a little bit but they are quite reliable these XG 92 ways and they're a good RF power meter so you can see there guys look just over 4 watts 4 points We'll say 4.2 would be generous. So we'll go on to the little TX. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. Same channel, 21, exactly what I was on the other night. Turn it down that racket there. Right guys, you can watch this move out the way a little bit so you can see. This is doing around about 4.5 watts. So whether that's doing four watts or just done or whatever, this is doing more, and that's what I'm basically trying to explain. Um, I've used this over the years, and it's been 110 percent for me. Like I am going to take it to get calibrated shortly because I trust it, and I've had it that long now. It's just more sentimental than anything, but I'm 99 percent certain that's bang on. Um, I've tried a few linears over the last few weeks. My CP163s are all doing around about 100 watts, like you can see there, guys. This is doing four and a half watts, this little uh, TX. It's supposed to be fully charged, but it's not. We've lost one little uh, line off the meter there, off the level. As you can see. I mean, if you keep TXing it for so long, she'll start dropping off a little bit, but on a whole, it's, um, it's doing just short of four and a half watts, that. So it's, I mean... When you talk four watts and four and a half watts or five watts, the difference is actually quite substantial, really. You know, we're not talking the difference between 25, 30, and say 60, which is, you know, you see something was not enough, you know what I mean? But where half a watt, it's the difference between heard and not heard, you know what I mean? So I'm fairly certain this is doing just under four and a half watts. Obviously, the longer you're out with it, it's going to drop a little bit because the battery's just going to start dying on me. I mean, like I say, that's off battery power. I'm unsure what it does off um, hooked up to 12 volt. I have no way of testing that yet, so I'll get a, a kit and give it a go. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised, to be honest. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but I did want to try it because I was curious. Anyway, guys, it's just a little one, just more curiosity than anything. If you found it interesting, a like for the channel wouldn't go amiss. And thanks for viewing and we'll catch you in the next one.